Will Pakistan's economy collapse? It's a question we have asked often on the show, and we've told you how Islamabad is dangerously close to a default, and why Pakistanis should blame China for this mess. It's the Belt and Road debt trap that is bleeding Pakistan, but China is not the only creditor that Pakistan owes money to. It has borrowed from practically every major lender in the world. Consider these numbers. Pakistan has borrowed more than $9 billion from Chinese sources. These are loans from China's commercial banks and the Chinese government. In all, Pakistan owes, more than, owes China more than $24 billion. Beijing is the main creditor of Pakistan. Then we have Europe. Pakistan has raised $1 billion from the European market. It took a $1 billion loan from the International Monetary Fund or the IMF. These two loans of $1 billion each are due next year. Pakistan also owes more than $11 billion to the Paris Club. This is a group of 22 countries who lend money to other nations. The Paris Club. Over $33 billion are owed to multilateral donors. Another $12 billion must be paid in international bonds. Beyond China, Pakistan has taken money from the UAE and Saudi Arabia too. A total of $6 billion from both the countries. So how much does Pakistan owe in all? Pakistan's outstanding debt is well over $200 billion. The Western countries, kingdoms of West Asia, international financial institutions, everyone has given a loan to Pakistan. Why do they do this, despite its poor economic outlook and clear affiliation to terrorist groups? Why are global lenders still keeping Pakistan's economy afloat? The most obvious explanation is influence. Loans help all these creditors build influence in Pakistan. But world leaders have a bigger worry. Pakistan's nuclear arsenal. Allow me to read a tweet from earlier this year. This is what it says. It was from lawmaker Lindsey Graham. And it says, he was talking about the crisis in Afghanistan. Any sustainable solution in Afghanistan, he said, must include Pakistan. We must all remember Pakistan is nuclear armed and there is a Pakistan version of the Taliban who wishes to topple the Pakistani government and military. Very complicated region and dangerous times. Well, this is the threat. In Pakistan, we have a dangerous mix of a powerful military and state-sponsored terrorist groups. Any form of instability could create a dangerous situation when nuclear weapons could fall into the hands of terrorists. So if Pakistan's economy were to collapse, it poses a threat to the entire world. And Pakistan knows this. And it doesn't hesitate in using this nightmare scenario to extract concessions. In 2001, George W. Bush had a similar fear. The United States had launched a war against Al-Qaeda after 9-11. There were fears that Al-Qaeda members could escape from Afghanistan to Pakistan, destabilize the country further, and take control of nuclear weapons. We don't know how genuine these fears were. But General Parvez Musharraf used this threat masterfully. He convinced Washington to back him. The United States banked on Pakistan for its war in Afghanistan. We all know how that turned out. The United States was humiliated in Afghanistan this year. What about Pakistan? They got $26 billion in aid from America. But the threat still remains, thanks to America's botched up exit. Afghanistan still remains an unstable state. And an out-of-hand Taliban could become more ambitious after this win. Former U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton issued a warning a few months ago. He said the Taliban could very well attempt to take Pakistan's nuclear weapons. And this nightmare scenario is what keeps the funds flowing into Pakistan. The global community indeed faces difficult choices. It cannot afford an unstable Pakistan. More unstable than it already is. At the same time, it cannot just keep lending money to a terror state. The world's leading powers should use these loans as leverage, demand an end to terror sanctuaries in Pakistan before they promise to keep the Pakistani economy afloat. Because unless that happens, there will always be a threat of terrorist groups dipping their hands into the nuclear cookie jar of Pakistan. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.